Once you've built up a good library of building blocks, you're ready to move on to create your full plays. In Fast Draw, the distinction between plays and building blocks is simple. Building block diagrams are available to us as components when creating a new diagram, whereas normal play diagrams are not. Typically, plays represent finished and complete diagrams like a full run or pass play. Luckily, just about everything you've learned so far with regard to creating and managing building blocks can directly be applied to the creation and management of plays as well. To create a play, determine the type of play you want to create. Ensure that the proper side of ball is selected in your play library. And additionally, also make sure that the plays tab is also selected and not the building blocks tab. Also, make sure the correct team and the correct series is also displayed in your play library. Now, once you have all the correct criteria labeled in your play library, now select New Play, name your play, and make sure all the criteria is correct in the play as far as location, ball, line of scrimmage, and any other important information you'd like to be included in the play. Diagramming a play is much like diagramming a building block. The stencils, layout, and all the other tools are fundamentally identical. But rather than always having to start diagramming from scratch, you can use the building blocks you've already created to initialize your play diagram. To apply a building block to your diagram, find the palette in the play editor called Building Blocks. And choose the appropriate side of ball to see a cascading menu of building block choices. Now choose the choice you would like. If you notice, the series you select, Base and Formation, all the different building blocks show up they've already created. Additionally, you'll also see a reversed building block for your side of ball. All the plays or building blocks on the left side of your building block formations indicate that you're going up, this up the field. All the plays on the right side indicate that you're going down the field i.e. drawing an offense for your defensive coaches. Once you're ready to select the formation you'd like to use, simply select it and you'll notice that it applies to the field below. Additionally, within your building blocks, you can also select your defense to add a defense to your play as well. Now select defense from your building blocks, choose the series, and now choose the defensive formation that you want to see on top of this offense. And now, as you can see, the defense simply overlays the offense and displays onto the field without having to drag and drop all 11 players on at the same time. If you feel that you've made a mistake on any of these formations, you can select the mirror and flips icon and select clear offense or clear defense to remove the defense and add additional ones. Additionally, you can also choose flip defense and it will reverse the defense in the opposite direction. So as you can see, the free safety is now on the left side. If you click on flip defense, the free safety and the strong safety now switch sides along with all the other players on the defensive end. Because you will more than likely use the same stencils, i.e. assignments, over and over in your play diagrams, FastDraw provides the ability to easily save and reuse your most commonly used stencils. When you've drawn a stencil that you'd like to reuse, right click on that stencil and choose Save Arrow from the pop up menu. This will launch the Save Arrow pop up where you can give your name, stencil, a name, and a group. A group could be such as Route Tree, or you can create different groupings if you would like. Once you've created it, click OK. Now, as you will see, once I save that route, you'll notice that it automatically goes into the other routes I've also saved in my route tree below. The proper use of saved arrows can be a tremendous time saver when adding pass routes, blocking assignments, and defensive movements to your play diagrams. 
So now, instead of having to draw over and move your different routes every single time, you can simply grab this out route and drag it over and attach it to the player that you'd like to be attached to. Now, if you're going to move that player anywhere on the field, you can click on that player stencil. If you notice that the route automatically stays with that player during the duration of your drawing. In football, you will often have many diagrams that share a common play name but will have slight differences in the diagrams themselves. For example, you might have a four different versions of a dive run play with, with each version being drawn against a different front. For example, a 4-3 or a 4-4 or a 5-2. You can use the same copy to icon command to create additional versions of this play. Then to help dis distinguish between each version of the same play concept, you can use a feature in FastDraw called Play Notes to provide additional detail for each diagram. So for our example here, I will scroll up and choose the defensive building block I want to use for this play dials 5 over. I want to put down the 4-3 front. So I will put that down, and now I have a 4-3 on this play. Now I'm going to copy this play to create another play with a different defense and keep the same name. Now if you notice, you have two play names displayed over on the left that are very similar. To distinguish these different plays, you can, inside the play notes in the library, or above the play, type in the defense that is against this is offense and hit enter. And you'll notice that the defense now will also show in the play library as well on the left hand side. Now select your other Dallas 5 over and select clear defense to change the defense that's already applied. And now you can select your defensive building block, miscellaneous, and now put down the 5 2 and insert the 5-2 in your play notes and hit enter. And now you have Dallas 5 over showing the two different defensive formations that it is lined up against in your play library.